Uh, the digital age is indeed corrupting the world of photography. Okay? <laughs> the problem with digital photography, it's too easy. And when things get too easy, people get sloppy. And, uh, and sloppiness is not a good thing in photography. Even though photography is fairly simple stuff, it's still uh, when it was um, non-digital, it still took a little bit of effort, a little bit of thought. But now I think a chimpanzee with a digital camera can get pretty good results as well. Or at least not good results, but uh, visible results. And, and I think that's, that's the problem. Too easy, too much, um, and maybe not too much thinking behind it. I don't mean to uh, insult the chimpanzees, they may be quite good photographers. <laughs> well, my best pictures are the ones I haven't taken, absolutely. I suppose anything that survives in street photography is probably something that is good. I'm not sure that there's more black and white photography than color photography. I think that uh, the black and white photography that there is is the one that uh, survives. Um, I think probably there's much more color photography that is street photography right now. I mean, everybody's taking color photography. Anybody with a telephone is, 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 is now a street photographer. So by sheer numbers, there are many more uh, street photographers that are taking pictures in color. I think the black and white ones are the ones that have a little bit more thought behind them. That's, those are the ones that will survive, I think. I am not a particularly anxious person, so I don't think so. When I take pictures of dogs, I certainly look at dogs before I look at anything else. If the dog is interesting, if the situation the dog is in is interesting, uh, then, uh, then I might take a picture if uh, other circumstances are ripe. It's, I see my best pictures when I don't have a camera, or at least I think I do. Uh, sometimes when I think I see a very good picture and I do have my camera, it turns out not to be so good. So it's not a very scientific uh, method that I have. Um, I think so much has to do with luck and circumstance. And uh, you never know when you have something until you see it. Not really, because if I have such a photo, I don't have to use it. You can always edit your material. I don't know about all this fantastic business, but uh, I would say that uh, my best picture is the one that I haven't taken yet. At least I hope that's it. Uh, well, it's okay, you know, just, uh, you can chat away about things, but uh, the essential thing about pictures is, is pictures, so you should look at them and, and draw your own conclusions. I don't really see much point to talk about pictures. The old Chinese proverb about a picture being a thousand words, w being worth a thousand words. I don't know. People are insecure about pictures. That's why they need to have explanations sometimes. But people who are visually apt don't have to have explanations. They just react to them. And that should really be sufficient.